You're not really dying, are you? I have the doctor's permission to live until Tuesday. But today is Saturday. This is serious. I don't know about it being serious. It's certainly a Saturday. Death is always serious. I never said I was going to die. I am presumably going to leave off being Laura, but I shall go on to be something else. An animal, perhaps. You see, when one hasn't been very good in the life one has just lived, one reincarnates into a lower organism. And I haven't been very good when one comes to think of it. I've been petty and mean and vindictive and all that sort of thing when the circumstances seem to warrant it. Circumstances never warrant that sort of thing. If you don't mind me saying, your husband is a circumstance that would warrant any amount of that sort of thing. I don't see what's wrong with Ricky. Oh, I dare say the wrongness has been on my part. He made a thin, peevish kind of fuss, for instance, the other day when I took your puppies out for a run on the farm. They chased the chickens and drove two of the hens off their nests and trampled the flower bed. Now we needn't have made such a fuss and gone on about it all evening just to say, let's not talk about it just as I was beginning to enjoy the discussion. And the next day, I led the entire family of chickens to the slaughterhouse. How could you? Oh, it came quite easy. And we thought it was an accident. You see, I really do have some grounds to suppose that my next incarnation will be some lower organism. I shall be an animal of some sort. Although, I haven't been bad in my way. So I think I may count on being a nice animal. Something elegant and lively, with a love of fun. An otter, perhaps. I can't imagine you as an otter. Personally, I think an otter life would be rather fun. All the salmon to eat all the year round, and the satisfaction of being able to catch trout within your own home without having to wait for hours for them to condescend to rise to the fly you've been dangling before them. Think of the otter attack dogs. How awful to be hunted and harried and finally worried to death. Rather fun with half the neighborhood looking on. And anyhow, no worse than this Saturday to Tuesday business of dying by inches. Then I suppose I should go on to be something else. If I've been a moderately good otter, I suppose. I wish you would be serious. You really ought to be if you're only going to live till Tuesday. So sad. And I'd already invited quite a lot of people down for golf and fishing. Laura was always inconsiderate. She had the maddest ideas. She thought she was going to be reincarnated as an otter. One meets with those ideas of reincarnation so frequently that one can hardly set them down as being mad. And Laura was such an unaccountable person in this life that I would not like to lay down definite rules as to what she might be doing in an after state. Do you think she may have passed into some animal form? Half my chickens have been killed. One of them was pulled into the middle of the azalea bed and eaten. My best chickens and my best flowers singled out for destruction. It almost seems as if the culprit had some special knowledge of how to be as devastating as possible in a short amount of time. Was it a fox, do you think? It sounds more like a badger. No. There were marks of webbed feet all over the place and I followed them down to the creek. Evidently an otter. I think she might have at least waited until the funeral was over. Quite unfortunate about the chickens, particularly after the incident at the slaughterhouse.
I'm going to call to get the otter dogs as soon as possible. You can't dream of such a thing, especially after a funeral. It's a matter of necessity. Once an otter takes to destruction, it won't stop. Perhaps it'll go elsewhere now that there's no more chickens left. One would think that you wanted to shield the beast. There's just been so little water in the creek lately, it hardly seems right to hunt an animal uh, when there's so little chance of it taking refuge anywhere. I'm not thinking about doing what's right. I want to have that animal killed as soon as possible. We shall have it hiding under our bed and biting off pieces of our feet before long. Shame you couldn't come. We had an excellent day. We found the culprit at once at the edge of the creek just below your garden. Did you kill? Of course, a magnificent she otter. Your husband got rather badly bitten in trying to tail it. Poor beast, it had such a human look in its eyes when it was killed. You'll call me silly, but do you know who the look reminded me of? Amanda? Mmm. -hmm. 